is Stanley, and Stanley's best friend, Dennis. When Stanley and Dennis jump into the great big book of everything, there's an animal adventure waiting for them and for you. Hi there. Imagine and learn with Stanley coming up next here inside Playhouse Disney. Oh, hey. I was just thinking about Stanley and his pets. Stanley has a... guess what this is? A dog. And... <laughs> right, a cat. And he has one other pet, too. A goldfish named Dennis. He's super smart. Are your pets smart? I think most animals are. It's true. Let's go and meet some more animals with Stanley. Are you with me? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Stanley. Do you know a guy who talked to a kangaroo? Hi there. <laughs> Who's always ready to learn about something new? Wow. Whose favorite book has all the animals you could wish? Yeah. Who's proud to say his best friend is a fish? That's right, it's my man Stanley. Oh yeah, it's my man Stanley. Welcome to Stanley's world. It's Stanley. <laughs> Come help him figure out what life is all about. Who takes you swimming with dolphins? It's Stanley. Oh, yeah. Laughs with the lion too. It's Stanley. We're going around the corner to greet the new family that's just moved into the neighborhood. We get to be the welcome wagon. You're a wagon? No, Harry. Being the welcome wagon means we're in charge of making the new family feel welcome. What are they like? I'm not sure yet, but Mom said they're all the way from Louisiana. And when the moving truck came, I saw a girl who looks like she's my age. I'm gonna make a new friend. It's always nice to make new friends. It's gonna be great. First, I'll introduce her to Marcy, Mimi, and Lester. Then we can go to the park and do some bird watching. Then we can play tag. Uh, perhaps you shouldn't get too far ahead of yourself, Stanley. Stanley, time to go. Come on, Dennis. See you guys later. Well, hello. Welcome to the neighborhood. I'm Joyce Griff. And this is my son, Stanley. Hi. And this is my friend, Dennis. What an impressive fish. It's a pleasure to meet you, Dennis. And it's nice to meet the both of you, too. I'm Kathy. Come on in. Excuse the mess. We've still got a lot of unpacking to do. <laughs> Please, make yourselves at home. Thanks. We live around the corner, and we wanted to invite you to a welcome picnic at our house this evening. A picnic? We'd love to come. Where's my new friend? I'm not sure, Stanley. Hmm? Huh? So how old are you, Stanley? I'm six years old. Well, that's the very same age as my Teresa. Right, Teresa? Hmm. She was right here a minute ago. Maybe she's playing a game? Teresa, our new neighbors are here and they'd like to meet you. She is. Hi, Teresa. I'm Stanley, and this is my best friend, Dennis. I have a dog and a cat, too. Their names are Harry and Elsie. Do you have any pets? Wow, your turtle is so cool. What's its name? Teresa, why don't you tell Stanley his name is Taffy? <laughs> Taffy? That's a great name for a turtle. Well, we certainly think so. Can I get y'all some lemonade? Oh, I'd love some. And I'd love to see what you've done with the kitchen. Would you like some, Stanley? No, thank you, Mrs. Kirby. How about you, Teresa? Okay, honey. So how old is Taffy? Uh, what's Louisiana like? Uh, do you have a favorite ice cream flavor? 
Do you play any sports? Hey, wait a minute. Did you paint these? They're pretty cool. Are they a picture of something? How are you two getting along? Mrs. Kirby, why isn't Teresa talking? <gasps> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt her feelings. Oh, it's not your fault, Stanley. Teresa's just adjusting to the new neighborhood and all the new people in it. Oh. I should go check on her. Of course. We'll see you later on at the picnic. You sure will. It was great meeting you. Bye, Mrs. Kirby. I don't think I make a very good welcome wagon, Mom. Don't worry, Stanley. Sometimes it just takes a while for people to come out of their shells. Things didn't go so well. What? what? You're always so good at making new friends. Yeah, dude. You're the friendliest. Mom said our new neighbor, Teresa, needs time to come out of her shell. She has a shell? I'm not sure. It looked more like a sweater to me. <laughs> Actually, that's just an expression people use when a person is... So, if she didn't have a shell, then what does she need to come out of? I don't get it. Stanley's mom didn't mean shell like a real shell. Well, she wouldn't come out of her room, especially after I asked why she wasn't talking. But I didn't see a shell. Stanley. No, you sillies. She didn't have a shell. Huh. Thank you, Elsie. Obviously, she left her shell in her room, and that's why she ran in there, to get back in it. Oh. Well, she does have a turtle. His name is Taffy, and he has a really cool shell. Maybe that had something to do with it. Yeah! Dennis, do you think we should look in the great... Don't say it! Don't say what? Don't say the great big book of everything! It's the great big book of everything with everything inside. See the world around us, this book's the perfect guide. Did you ever have one of those days? Stanley's friend is very shy. Let's go ask the turtle why. Turtle starts with T. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. T for turtle. Hey, that looks just like Taffy. That type of turtle is called a painted turtle, Stanley. Then we'll learn about that one. All right. Although I'm not sure turtles are really going to help with... Come on! Five, four, three, two, one. Into the book to have some fun. Whee! So this is where painted turtles live? It is, Stanley. We're in the North American wetlands. Huh? Most turtles can live on land or in the water, Stanley. Look at her scaly arms and legs. Good observation. The turtle is a reptile with scales covering its body. Do you know which one of these animals is also a reptile? Could it be a kangaroo? A snake? Or is it a moose? That's right. Snakes are reptiles, too. Hey, Dennis, the turtle's chewing on something. Actually, Stanley, turtles don't chew. They just use their beaks to slice their food and their strong throat muscles to swallow it. Whoa! Come on, Dennis, let's get closer. You know, Stanley, perhaps this turtle can help with your Teresa problem after all. Well, first we have to figure out how to make the turtle come out of her shell. Hello? Anybody home? Actually, Stanley, it might be more important to learn why the turtle goes inside its shell. What do you mean? Well, when painted turtles feel scared or threatened, they hide themselves safely inside their protective shell. 
Why would it be scared of me? I just want to be friends. I know you mean well, Stanley. You're just trying to be friendly. But some animals and people are just shy. It takes them a little longer to feel comfortable around new people. You mean like Teresa? Teresa is in a brand new neighborhood with lots of brand new people. And sometimes that can be a little scary. I guess I might be a little scared too. But what should I do? Well, sometimes it's best to be patient and go slow when you're trying to get to know a person who's shy. Hey, maybe that'll work for the painted turtle too. It's okay, little turtle. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hey, look, Dennis. I got her to come out of her shell. Hey, congratulations, Stanley. If I could get the turtle to come out of her shell, maybe I can get Teresa to come out of hers. Let's go, Dennis. Bye, little turtle. Hey, guys, we met a painted turtle. Look, I'll draw one. Hey, don't forget her colorful shell. Wait a minute. That's what Teresa's paintings were. Taffy's shell. I thought Teresa was the one with the shell. <laughs> Do we see her, Dennis? Uh, not yet, Stanley. There she is. Now remember, Stanley. I know, Dennis. Be patient and go slow. Hi, Teresa. Hey. So, are you doing more pictures of Taffy's shell? You... you can tell what they are? I figured it out later. Sorry I started asking you all kinds of questions right away. I just wanted to be your friend. That's okay. Hey, can I draw a turtle too? Sure. Did you know that most turtles can live in the water or on land? Yeah, and did you know turtles don't even chew their food? That's right. Well, I love turtles. <laughs> That's a wonderful picture, Stanley. Thanks, Dennis. I'm really glad Teresa finally came out of her shell. We're even going to play together next week. Splendid. Being sensitive to Teresa's personality really paid off. You were right, Dennis. When I went slow and thought about Teresa's feelings, we finally became friends. Teresa's lucky to have a friend like you, Stanley. And so am I. Thanks. Good night, Dennis. Ah, good night, painted turtle boy, Stanley. Next, blast off and go on a mission with Leo, June, Quincy, Annie, and Rocket. Soar into Disney's Little Einsteins. Coming up next, here inside Playhouse Disney.